Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm here to do a film review of Asaran starring Danush. If you're new to Pardesi Reviews, I do film reviews and trailer reactions of Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and Hindi cinema. This film came out a week ago, this Tamil film starring Danush and directed by Vetri Maran. I have only seen their previous collaboration, Vada Chennai, which was excellent. I know they have worked together on at least one other film in the past. I really enjoyed this film. I wasn't sure, uh, you know, the trailer kind of, it was a village setting, some sort of conflict between cast possibly. But the, the title means demon, so I, uh, you know, it could have had supernatural overtones, but it it isn't. It's like the kind of the monster inside everyone. It's also very much a family drama within a family as well as a drama between warring families. I was so impressed with Danush as an actor. This is not a masala larger than life you know kind of a uh, film. It has commercial elements. It does have big fight set pieces, but it's within such a well-crafted story. I don't want to give too much away of the plot. I will just say that we begin in a setting in nature and then you suddenly realize, okay, we're in the middle of a chase scene. A man and his son are walking through water because they're trying to hide their tracks. And the man, the father, is Danush, and the young son is played by Ken Karanis. I'm not sure how old he is. In the film, he's supposed to be about 15 or 16 years old. So a young, a young teen, and he was very, very good. There's been all of this conflict, and it's all about honor. It's about land. I wasn't exactly sure of the time setting of the film, but in reading about it after I watched it, it's set in the 80s. There is a period of the film that's a flashback to an even earlier time. In the earlier flashback, we see the swagger of Danusha's character. We see him a young tough. And then because of events that happened, and then he becomes a different man. So when we've seen him at the beginning of the film, he's a man in his 50s. He's he you could just see he has been beaten down by life. He has lines of worry on his forehead. He's gone through a lot and we see him in a position of weakness. His hot-headed sons are quick to try to remedy slights of honor, attacks against their, their mother, just all sorts of things. And they're flabbergasted that their father just seems to take it and take it and take it. They just cannot understand why he is not boiling over with rage and in fact there's a scene where he is completely humiliated and abased by the villain in the village in front of everyone and his son his sons just cannot even conceive how he would do this he's doing it to save a son but they still can't understand even his wife cannot understand how he could just allow these humiliations to ha happen to him. And of course, you know, <laughs> there's going to be a boiling point and then it's all unleashed. But it was really an interesting character study. I mean, we're seeing Danush as an actor, not just a Danush swagger uh, kind of persona. We're seeing him go through so many different emotions so uh, different parts of his life, you know, telling this backstory of what a hot-headed young man. So we see how he came to that point of not wanting to solve issues with violence and then being, uh, you know, forced to and protecting his family, you know, events overtake him. So it's a film that has a lot of violence in it, but in essence, a lot of the message is how pointless it all is and how the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats the same hot-headedness that he had as a young man is the same hot-headedness that his sons have. 
Manju Warrior plays his wife. She, this, I believe, is her, her first uh, Tamil film. She, she, I know her well from Malayalam cinema, and she was great. And I love to see the two of them together in a mature relationship <laughs> kind of a film. We're seeing them as husband and wife who love each other deeply, sometimes don't understand each other, which that eh, happens. I, I really loved seeing a mature a uh, relationship like that. The older son is played by an actor that was new to me. His name is TJ and he doesn't have that many scenes in the film but he creates a huge impact in the scenes that he does have. He was great. I wish there had been more with him and I'm looking forward to seeing him in future films. I just love the whole family dynamic and Danush is just exceptional. This is not a film where you're going to see a lot of dance numbers. That's not the kind of film there is. In the flashback, we see him just kind of hoofing it a little bit in his joy at kind of a crush that he has with a young girl. But it's not, there are no out and out dance numbers. It wouldn't really necessarily fit in with this film. There's sort of a montage. There's a montage of grief at a certain point. It, this is not a kind of film that just stops and has big dance numbers. And that's okay because it's a film that has action, that keeps you on the edge of your seat at certain points as they're being chased, as there's very tense scenes with this rivalry between these two warring families. There's a lot of issues expressed about cast. I'm sure I wasn't getting all of it. But it, at one point in a flashback, there's a whole ruckus be someone of an upper class won't let Danusha's girlfriend wear shoes. She's not allowed to wear shoes. And that was, I, that was something that really <laughs> struck me. I, I like, I just couldn't even, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that. And so it's, it's just so out of my element and I, wow. <laughs> so here's a film that's dealing with issues and talking about issues and talking about how certain things just keep happening over and over again and how violence keeps coming up in families and so forth but it's not preaching to us uh, the film that i saw cop on was trying to do, shove so many issues into an action film and it was preaching at us and here's a film that is laying bare all of these issues in and showing us the impact on these characters on these people and making us sympathize and i have to hand it to danush i saw one uh review mention that they can't imagine maybe vj satapati they could imagine taking a role like this where he doesn't have a hero's entrance he doesn't this is not this is Danush the actor he's not getting a hero's interest as I mentioned there's an incredible scene where he completely debases himself and I you know it's hard to imagine a lot of other actors who play heroes willing to do that and so kudos to him for taking this part it's based on a novel by Punami called Vikai which means heat and I think that's kind of like the heat of anger I guess is what it's about but also the landscape is so um so torrid so you just kind of just feel how the the weather and the heat is affecting everyone's tempers as well I really enjoyed this film I thought it was really impactful I think it's one that you should see if you can on the big screen I'm glad that I didn't miss it while it was still playing here in Chicago love to know what you thought about this film Please tell me in the comments below what you thought about it. I, I was really impressed with all the acting, but especially the two young men playing Danusha's sons, I thought were standouts. Prakash Raj, I always love him, and he has sort of a cameo as a activist, kind of a lawyer that tries to help out Danusha's character. But I really love Danush and Manju Warrior, especially together. I would love to see them work together again. I thought that was great. All right, love to see your comments uh, below. Follow me on Twitter at PerdaisyYT, subscribe here to Perdaisy Reviews, and if you hit the bell when you subscribe, you'll never miss another review or trailer reaction.